concept. Infinitive slope. Bear infinitive after help. Help the how young infinitive or the high bear infinitive. You more fun bit, ne? Compare the following. Could you help me to look for my car keys? I can't find them anywhere. Could you help me look for my car keys? I can't find them anywhere. Do these two sentences mean the same? The answer is yes. Help ka bear infinitive. What they have infinitive. Help somebody to do something. For example, we all help him fill out the application form. Another example, and he said he would help us to move the furniture. Another example, all this arguing isn't going to help us win the election. What is the difference between to infinitive or bear infinitive? Help is a verb that can be used with or without to, and with or without an object before the infinitive. When we use it without an infinitive, it sometimes sounds more informal. Would you like to help to cook dinner tonight? It is late and I'm feeling tired. Would you like to help cook dinner tonight? It is late and I'm feeling tired. More informal. Help ka bear infinitive cook. Tang yu hai informal do di. You got help ka bear infinitive cook. Hai more informal. The difference is one of form only. This is hai zhi hai jing zhi shang ge kui bi. There is no difference in meaning. Easy hai mo fan bi ge. For example. President Bush has announced a plan to help prevent the spread of the AIDS virus. Ajay, President Bush has announced a plan to help to prevent the spread of the AIDS virus. Another example: A zebra stripes help this animal to hide from his enemies. Help a person do without to. It's a commoner when the help means physical help. For example, he helped me climb rather than to climb the stairs. But actually, many people are saying help someone to do, even in the instances the help is obviously physical help. Cannot help guard Jaren. Yeah, you go. Hai mai ngam ne? The teacher helped me doing my homework. Do my the teacher help me to do my homework? That guy is tall guy. That guy is ngam guy. She couldn't help laughing when she read the story. It means she was not able to stop herself from laughing when she read the story. 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 Edward can't help listening at the door when her boss is talking on the phone. The meaning is that Edward is not able to prevent himself from listening at the door. If you say you can't help thinking something, you're expressing your opinion in an indirect way, often because you think it seems rude. I can't help feeling that this may just be another of her schemes. I don't mean. Got that? This is probably her another trick. Practices. This is our set of three questions. Ah, you yourself do it. Here are the answers. Number one, a bit of exercise would help to lift his spirits. Number two, the housemaid helps him to clean the house. Number three, she cannot help crying when she saw the damaged kitchen. Number four, you cannot help wondering about the pointlessness of it all. 
Remember that if you mean you cannot prevent yourself from doing something, you should use cannot help doing something. My say not help to do something. Here are some exercises. Complete the following by filling in the blanks with the correct form of the verbs in the bracket. Answer key. Number one. Sex education is also expected to help to check the spread of AIDS. Number two, when we listen to the cross talk, we cannot help laughing. And number three, daily facial exercises help her to retain the skin's elasticity. Number four, Annie's return will help to chase away some of the groom. Number five. Can somebody help me move this table?